In the 1940s, engine technology required that a pilot adjust the amount of prime, throttle position, and ignition sequencing each time he started. And when the engine temperature changed, it required different settings for each. Aircraft have improved greatly since then, but we are still starting engines the same way and having the same frustrating problems, particularly with fuel-injected hot starts. At iStart, we have changed all of that. No more arcane throttle mixture combinations with questions about how long to prime or how fast to add mixture. You just get in, turn the key, and taxi away. Automotive technology has made starting a non-event, and aircraft engine starts should be as consistent and reliable as your family car. We at iStart are committed to bringing that expectation to the family aircraft. The iStart system uses 21st century automotive fuel injection technology with environmental sensing and computer control to provide the proper combustion mixture each time you start, whether it's the first flight of the day or you've made a fuel stop in Phoenix and it's 105 degrees outside. For the pilot, iStart is automatic. Master switch on, turn the key, and you're on your way. Let's watch the iStart process in detail. The status light on the instrument panel indicates the readiness of the iStart system for operation. If the light is not illuminated, iStart is not powered and is not involved in aircraft operation in any way. A steady green light indicates that iStart is powered. When the light begins flashing, iStart is ready for operation. The engine controls are set in a typical fashion, throttle cracked with the mixture in idle cutoff. When the pilot powers the aircraft, the light is a steady green. iStart is sampling the environmental inputs. After two seconds, the light begins flashing, saying iStart is ready. It will remain in this condition indefinitely while the pilot completes any setup or checklist items necessary and is ready to engage the starter. Now we'll begin the start. Once the engine starts, iStart begins monitoring the now running engine for 10 seconds. And when it's stabilized, it will again give a flashing light, indicating it's time to advance the mixture to rich. This action transfers fuel delivery to the aircraft system. iStar recognizes the transition and powers down, and cannot become active as long as the engine is running. Let's see that again in real time. You know, it should always be that simple. Day or night, hot or cold, winter, summer. If you want your plane to start as easily as your family car, install iStart. It's one of those investments you make in your plane you're glad you did every time you go to fly.